I like peanut butter and jelly. I'm not a big fan of jelly beans. And then Bob's like, you know, 30 bucks? No, I'm good. Me and the great pressure dude. That's it. High five. A little bit of a windy day today. Hold on a second. Oh. Alright, so we're on our way now. So it's a weekend. I'm gonna get out of town today. I'm gonna go to Napa Valley where I went to college. I make this trip typically at least once or twice a year and usually I go forward to driving because I love driving those twisty roads canyons with the elevation changes and all that fun stuff I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be doing that today it might be more of a leisure trip today but who knows you know I, there might be room there might be time for uh what's it called some fun driving uh, let's be real there will be a little bit but today is the first of the month and you know what that means Dutch Brothers. Large sugar-free rubble. And we'll go uh, sugar-free peach on that. Alrighty, thank you very much. Thank you, you have a great day. You too. All right, we got our drink, but more importantly, we got our sticker, woo. All right, let's go get some gas. All right, we got our gas. Gonna get a quick car wash. It's the Jelly Belly Factory. So I remember back in second grade, we had a field trip to the Jelly Belly Factory. So I didn't know what the Jelly Belly Factory was. I didn't know what a Jelly Belly was because I don't like jelly beans. So we never had jelly beans in the house. So I figured back then, I figured Jelly Belly was like some sort of jelly factory. And you know, I like peanut butter and jelly. I'm not a big fan of jelly beans. I was so disappointed when I found out when we arrived at the Jelly Belly Factory that Jelly Bellies were jelly beans. I was so sad. Whenever I pass by Jelly Belly, I always remember that. Good times. All right, we are here in San Luis, California. We're gonna pick up our food. We got a sandwich from Junie's. Light us out. Seems like everyone here is wearing a mask, so I guess I'd be nice. Mm. Basically, when I was in college, Pacific Union College, we be here almost every Saturday. The Saturdays I was in town, grabbing food, grabbing lunch, you're a genius. Alright, we got our food. I'm supposed to bunker down to eat, figure out how to do this. Whew, all right. We got our food. They gave the option for uh, lettuce wrap, mojito. So of course, I did lettuce wrap. This is the lettuce wrap. Uh, I don't know what, this is the roast beef. This is, this is the pastrami, this is the pastrami lettuce wrap. Right. Let's drive a bit and I'll figure out where we're going. But I'm starving. I could technically eat here, the only thing is I want, I need shade. I think the easiest solution is to just go up to the UC, just eat up there. No, I was going to go up there anyway. We'll go up there now. Alright, well, we're going to head to PUC. We are at my alma mater, Pacific Union College, 
and there's like nobody here. I can't remember. I don't remember if they're teaching in person yet or if they're still distance learning. But yeah, as you can see behind me, it's totally empty. Let's head up to the airport and see what it looks like up there nowadays. Yeah, our, our college has an airport. We have a small aviation program. Pretty cool. If I remember correctly, George W. Bush, uh, when he came to California, the PUC airport is one of the airports that he entered, that he came through. Because I remember there was a bunch of idiot uh, professors and students uh, protesting, which is their right, but yeah, whatever. Pacific Union College Airport. Really small airstrip really small airplanes so I don't I don't even know what kind of planes the aviation program focused on but I remember one time we came to the airport we went out onto the runway and it was raining and it was foggy as heck our fusion leaders like all right I hid an envelope with was it like 20 30 bucks at the end of the runway first one to get it is theirs of course we all start taking off running and then Bob's like 30 bucks no I'm good stop running and then my buddies kept running then they slowly dropped off one by one. At the end, Fusion Leader's like, all right, so I didn't actually leave it over there. I got it here in my pocket. Let's park here and let's eat here. Irwin Hall, if I remember correctly, Irwin Hall is the history, history department. So yeah, many a good year here in the good old PUC. We, uh, we got a Junie's Pastrami sandwich. A lot of lettuce. Yeah, so I came to college here back in what, 2004 to 2008? Got a Bachelor's of Science in Graphic Design, which I use regularly. That's <laughs> so much lettuce. All right, check it out. That's what we. That's what we got. I got some bread in the back. Keto bread. This bread is so small. I might have to make two sandwiches. But otherwise, it's just like a sandwich bar. It's build your own sandwich day. Bread, lettuce, meat. Got American cheese. Pastrami. Yeah, I'm gonna end up making like two sandwiches. Ooh, ooh. ooh I don't know if this uh, first sandwich is gonna have much, if any, of the Juni Juice goodness. This tomato does, though. Mmm. All right, low carb, keto compliant Juni sandwich. Not quite a Juni sandwich, but it's really close. This is good. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, that was good. Wash my hands. All right, we're gonna go try and look at that Great Crusher statue back in Napa. I'll see you over there. I'm gonna leave the camera on here though. Dude, what's that? High five. Actually, kind of look good. I'm gonna lie, it kind of looked cooler in the uh, <laughs> in all the good call on the internet. It's got a whole uh, view of the Napa Valley. It's bright as heck out here. 
Who knows? Interesting, you know, artwork, right? I like art. I mean, that's kind of cool. Like I said, I don't know if I'd say that was worth it, but it's definitely interesting. All right, I have no clue what I'm gonna do now, but whatever we do, catch you all on the flip. We'll say one thing that's nice, being able to walk around without a mask on. And I get it, but it's nice to not have it at the same time. But you know, you gotta respect other people's you know, wishes, I guess. Alright, that was interesting. Really quick walk downtown Napa, riverfront area. Kinda odd. It's like it's got moments of classiness, but then it's also got a huge frankly a huge homeless problem because there's quite a few it's very like i said it's very interesting but i could see us coming back here uh, on a date or something let my sweetie know some interesting stuff i also do want to go to that um there's a food court market type situation it's got a bunch of uh, pop-up restaurants so definitely want to come back and uh, take a look at that but yeah i think i'm pretty much all napa valleyed out i'm gonna head on back towards home and uh, hopefully meet up with my sweetheart today. All right, we are back here in the Sacramento area, finally. It's been a nice day in Napa Valley, uh, California. Got to enjoy a Junie sandwich, kind of, in my own modified way. And yeah, it was definitely, it definitely tasted like Junie's. Don't get me wrong, I would have loved to have had that on a uh, wheat roll, but I'm on a diet, and we haven't been very good on it, as you can kind of see. So I'm going to be more strict on all things considered. It tasted pretty darn good. But yeah, right now I'm on my way to meet up with my sweetie at her place. Sounds like she's uh, in the middle or has already finished cooking a roast. She's a very good cook. Alright, here with that, I'm going to pretty much close out this video. Thanks for uh, joining today. Alright, with that, I'm going to cut the video and catch you all on the flip.